Hello people and welcome back to part 6 of the City Skylines build guide and today we are hopefully going to be working on our beachfront. I've just been doing a little bit of work off camera so we'll run over that while we move towards the next milestone. I decided that I didn't want a farm in this area here. We can see we had um, a little bit of fertile land but dealing with the farm traffic coming through all these residentials area was not something I really wanted to happen. Uh, especially for kind of the small town island vibe that we've been going for here. And I've also begun to surround this slip road, kind of the ring road of the island, um, with some trees, which is really helping bring it all to life now. You know, it looks um, looks really nice, I think. Uh, and when we do have kind of a lot of spare budget, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this into this high speed road here, uh, the two-way highway. And we'll upgrade a tiny bit of it so you can see what you think. Uh, and you'll see that I'm using the version with uh, sound barriers. Now these roads do produce noise when they're busy uh, and if they do get too busy I don't want them to be affecting our residentials because they'll make them sick and you can see they are really close uh, but with the trees which do actually stop sound uh, we are going to be able to have this ring road uh, run the length of the island and uh, it's going to look really sweet seeing cars flying around here and there we go we finally hit big town that's going to give us another unlockable tile uh, campus areas which is really fun. I'm super excited to build the first university in the city. Uh, that's going to be really cool. Uh, campus areas which ties into that. A couple of stuff that ties into uh, the arenas, uh, the campus stuff as well like sports arenas and trade school campuses. Some more unique buildings, blimps which are pretty useless. We may use them. I'm, I'm not. They're kind of a little bit silly. I don't really use them. Uh, Metro which our city really doesn't need right now. Uh, an IT cluster, which look really cool for your downtown areas. Uh, the leisure specialization, which is what we're going to be playing with today. Uh, and then a whole bunch of new policies. We unlock the high density zonings as well, which is really cool. Uh, some new pathways that come with the trade school. Uh, and then a whole bunch of new buildings, including the sauna, uh, prisons, and a lot of uh, kind of different other stuff that we'll get to eventually. But right now, what I want to go ahead and do is work on our glorious beachfront area which is going to sit right here let's go ahead and delete these trees off the beach they should not be there so what we have right here is this really nice beachfront now this is going to be full of nightlife a few different parks and most importantly a ferry depot which is going to allow people to travel back into from the island without using a car now that's going to be great for our roads but it's also going to look really cool as well so I'm really looking forward to diving into this area and making it look really sweet. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and paint out a new zone here. Now we're working pretty close to some residential stuff over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and follow the road first of all. And try and map this out again. Suggestions down in the comments below for the name of this new uh, commercial front that's going to develop along here. I'm going to bring it up to about there. It's not going to include uh, these buildings here. We also have Hillside Park is coming a little too far out here. It's not that back. Uh, and I'm going to extend Fremwood Parks down to include this new commercial along the front. And then down there as well. Okay, so Sunnyside Park. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Let's push those borders back. Uh, and then I think probably up to where I've built the tree road will be an acceptable level. Uh, and then we'll also bring it down over the beach as well. There we go. And that seems like a pretty, a pretty decent area to work with. Okay, so now we have a district. I'm going to pop ahead into our commercial specializations. And now we have a lot of leisure. Let's have a look at what it does. So this is going to uh, have any commercial in this district specialise in leisure activities, which is going to have more vibrant nightlife and many options for daytime relaxation as well. Now this causes no noise pollution, so you need to be wary of close by residentials like this. We may end up unz unzoning these. Um, I'm hoping the trees might block some of the noise pollution, but just bear that in mind when you're building these things. And the, the commercial zones are also going to be active 24-7. So I'm just going to uh, left click that, and that's going to apply it to the district. And let's go ahead and map out our first commercial zone in. So we've got some nice... Um, commercial demand right now so this is a good time to build and again we want to try and stick to these big solid blocks let's zone all these in probably easier just to go ahead and fill these actually all along here 
and then here as well. And there is up to a good point. So I'll stick it on three speed and watch some things develop. Up to here, let's go back to our specific zoning and zone some things in probably here as well. And then up to there. So I'm going to go ahead and place in a bit of a firmer tree barrier right now. Uh, let's delete some of these. I'm knocking around. You can tell that I've been using the tree brush just to pack this area out. Um, okay. So let's bring the uh, brush size down on the brush strength. I'm just going to try and create a barrier of trees just by spam clicking and try and make a little bit of a woodland between the new commercial. So of course these guys are going to need to be watered up. Let's just follow the road here. Uh, and then it can connect up straight down the middle. Okay. So this is kind of the feel I was going for. Let's take a quick look at the noise pollution. Okay, so you can see how it's radiating from there. So if we look at our regular commercial, so say for example we take the sound from here, this stuff isn't nearly as loud. And then you move down into this stuff, and look, it's a much deeper colour of red. So this place is producing a lot of noise. These guys are a little too close to the radius. Like, they can still be within the red radius. It won't affect them that much. But um, it's certainly something to bear in mind. Here we go. What's this building? Arcade games. That might be a little bit too big for what I'm going for. These are the kind of things that I want. So again, like our locally produced stuff that we placed over here, uh, these buildings don't have levels. They are just a single block, uh, so they won't ever level up or change their appearance. But um, they do look pretty sweet. Now I don't think I'm happy with these buildings, so again we can change that by going in and taking off a layer of zoning, and that is going to force a different building to spawn in. Let's take these off, knock that down. And uh, this one as well. Don't want too many high rises in here. There we go. Okay, so it's developing nicely. Got a nice beach front here. It's going to look really cool to get some props on the beach in as well. Okay, so I also wanted to add in a ferry port here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and actually uh, place in the ferry port first. So let's go ahead and add our ships. We have a couple of options here. So we have uh, a ferry depot which we are going to need first of all for the ferries to actually come out of. And then we have a ferry stop, a ferry pier, and a ferry and bus exchange. So that might be really cool to build in actually. Uh, if we can factor in buses to drop people on and off and then extend our bus line down to this area as well. Okay, let's go for this one. This thing is going to cost us 75 grand and again you can see just by placing this it does have another noise radius but there's no residentials or anything uh, to kind of concern ourselves with here. So I think I'm going to place this just off the edge of the commercial and this will need to be uh, watered up as well. Let's go ahead and do that. And there we have a nice ferry and bus exchange terminal. So this is going to be really cool to work with. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of those roads. Now I'm going to bring a road off this roundabout straight down into the park and I'll bring it to about there and then we're going to lock into the node point and then get a nice smooth curve over there. And of course he will need power as well. Uh, we will eventually link him up with another building uh, or a park or something, but for right now uh, we can just put in the temporary power line. So let's go ahead and add in our ferry depot so we can of course have ferries. This thing is also full. Uh, we can't actually empty that yet because we don't have uh, an incinerator, so we'll have to deal with this temporarily uh, because this will cause us problems. Um, so when your landfill site does fill up, you can see it has a percentage bar here on its info panel. Um, you will need to empty it. So we can do that by going into our uh, garbage and industry, leaving on the first garbage tab, and then we have unlocked the incineration plant. 
So the fun thing about this thing is it will actually generate power for your city, which is really convenient because you can turn your garbage into power. However, this thing is also mega loud and mega pollutive, so it's not something you particularly want anywhere near commercial or residential like at all. This thing is pretty bad for the environment. Uh, but we've got kind of a nice little dirty industry bit developing around here. So I'm happy for this to be here until we kind of make a dedicated space for all our really heavy, dirty industry kind of type of stuff. Uh, so I'm happy for that to be there right now. So that's going to start emptying out when we click here. We should have when I click on pause. There we go. It takes a while to register. Empty build into another facility, you'll get this icon and then you'll start to see uh, a load of garbage trucks pouring out of this thing and they're going to take it straight to the incineration plant, straight over here, here they go, and then they're going to drop it off and this thing is going to start generating power for us, so they're pretty cool. And uh, Anchor Sawmill has reached level 4, happy days, we can add some more stuff to that this episode as well. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and grab. So we do actually have some uh, ferry lines in here already, which is going to be cool to lock on to. Uh, so the ferry depot is going to sit here. So this is pretty much like a bus depot. This thing is going to uh, distribute ferries across uh, our, our lines, kind of like how the bus depot distributes buses across the bus lines. Uh, and I'm just going to bring this guy out. Let's just uh, bring him to here and then lock him up there. So again, I'll probably move this eventually. Um, I don't really want it on the small island, but for right now it's where we're building, so we'll have to do. Uh, it's also noticed that this uh, pollution, this uh, dirty water is making this place look pretty grim now. I don't like that looks pretty horrendous, but it's uh, it's only temporary until we move it all. Uh, okay, so now we've placed the ferry depot in, we can go ahead and create some ferry pathways. So obviously, we need people to be able to go to a different location. They can't just get on the boat and then come back here as well. So we'll sort that out when we expand over here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead now and actually buy this tile. And that's going to allow us to start expanding onto the mainland. And uh, there's a lot of farm here. So I'm thinking a nice little farming village uh, just off the highway. And there's a pretty little lake here as well. We can maybe make a bit of a, a bit of tourism around this lake. Have it as a nice kind of country retreat maybe. Definitely potential there. Uh, okay, let's have a look what else we can put along the beach here. How's the front developing? Front's looking really nice. I want to make a little more fuss of this roundabout. Let's uh, go ahead and grab some of these nice posh uh, city park paths. I'm going to drag these up into the middle. And then from here as well. And then here. And then we can have a couple of nice flowery trees around here. Kind of just decorating the the uh, the outside of the road. One, two, three, four, and five. And then again, one, two, three, four, and five. And then just a, maybe a couple of rocks in here. Have a different one. Okay, so the roundabout automatic looks a lot more interesting. We're going to see some people walking through here. Uh, so that's going to be convenient for people to cross over here and then straight down the path and then to cross over here as well. Okay, so I think I actually do want commercial uh, to be right as they come into this part of town. Let's go ahead and drop some of these guys off right here. And uh, let me pop out of this. Okay, yeah, this is looking quite nice now. Let's have a look. Maybe we can maybe get a park in here somewhere. So that's going to demolish those, unfortunately. Another large one here. We can't get this in. And this is going to be a large playground. Now this is going to cause a lot of our residential to level up around here. There you go, see a lot of different little things firing off now. Everyone's happy. 
So that's filled out that area quite nicely. Let's go ahead and hook this dirt path up. Uh, probably over to here seems like a nice option. Let's um, get that as straight as we can. I'm going to go ahead and actually just border the back of this with a little tree line to join it with the rest. So these citizens don't seem to be complaining of happiness and they are still happy themselves. So that is going to look as though it's not going to be a bit of an issue for us. We thought that might be, but we have an abandoned building here. That's fine. I also added in a medical clinic uh, on the corner here. We did have a few sick citizens in the city. Uh, we've got a really nice high street theme developing around here now. Uh, you know, you've got the med clinic and a little carousel park. So I'm pretty happy with that. We've got a lot of people using these paths now as well that we placed. And if you remember uh, last episode, let's go ahead and actually draw in uh, another one. Uh, we can't get it down the back there, maybe here. Okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty bad though because of the uh, because of the terraforming. So let's see if we can sort this out a little bit. Uh, let's have the brush size up. That's not really what I wanted to do. There we go. And then we'll smoothen this out a little. So the gradient isn't as severe. Over here as well. Cool. Now we'll probably have to come in free form with our dirt path. Uh, so let's go from here. I'm going to kind of follow the contour of this rock. So let's have it come this way. And then down here. And then up here as well. And then let's just fill in these little green spaces with a couple of trees around the back. Okay, that is not what I wanted to happen. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's try and sort that out a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then the softened terrain tool. We'll just allow it to look a little bit better. I still suck with the uh, with the terrain tools. Well, that should uh, be okay now. So people can have a different way in and out of this area. You can see now we are getting a little bit of garbage pile up. Uh, which is totally fine because uh, a lot of the trucks are actually using this um, to empty out. So we do have a fire at our power station as well. That isn't good. How are we doing for fire coverage right now? We do have two fire stations on the island. That's more than enough. Of course, this is um, actually stopping power being produced. So as soon as the firemen get here and put this out, the city should fall out of disarray. There we go. <laughs> right, okay. There's a bit of traffic backing up along here. Uh, that's just with all the, the garbage trucks trying to empty the uh, the incineration plant out, but it's nothing too big to worry about. I wonder if we can actually bring it closer. So they have more of a way. Let's actually see if we can move this um, down onto the main road. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this incineration plant over here temporarily. So that's going to allow them to empty quicker because it's right next door. Again, it will pollute, but uh, we will end up moving it anyway. So not to worry about that. Go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so those uh, garbage signs are starting to, start to disappear anyway, which is good. Okay, so let's have a look what else we have. So I think over in, uh, where is it? So under unique buildings, we have a fantastic fountain. And uh, now this is just a nice looking fountain. I wonder if we can actually get this in along here. I'm not sure how I feel about that with the terrain generation. Let's go ahead. We're only going to lose 30 grand on that, but we're making more than enough money right now for that to be more than okay. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and smoothen this entire beach out. 
uh, just so the we don't get any kind of nasty harsh cliffs being generated just gonna allow it to remain a lot smoother okay over here very nice so I think I want uh, maybe a basketball court here might be quite cute That's nice, people can come down to the beach and play basketball. That's going to be pretty cool. And we also have uh, some tourism and leisure tabs um, under the park industry stuff as well. Now, this is where a lot of our kind of um, tourism stuff faces. And this guy's out of water because we need more water, of course. Okay, so it's time to add in another uh, water pump. Again, that's no problem. Let's drop it next to our other one. And actually push it back. And now, if I just saw then this pollution... Is coming a little too close for comfort towards our water pump. So I think now is the time uh, to actually go ahead and move this. I think I'm going to dump it uh, right by here. So we'll have that there. Remember, you need to hook these things back up. And then one here as well. So don't forget, this place over here isn't permanent. It's just kind of a convenient utilities area right now. We are going to make a nice big fuss out of where our power is generated. Kind of using a lot of fences and uh, parallel power lines. So it's like a proper transformer and a bit of like a nuclear complex. But you know, while we're starting out your city, you can just dump them wherever you need them. Uh, that should be okay. So the garbage is still an issue. Uh, we also have the tunnels going under now as well, uh, which will eventually link up over here. Uh, but for right now, let's just double check our garbage processing status. So maybe we could actually do with another landfill as we are reaching some pretty intense capacity. Might just plop that in there for right now. Again, we will move these eventually. You, know, you don't need to worry about these being a permanent fixture. They will all be deleted. So they're going to have actually really convenient access to the ring road, uh, which is going to serve its purpose now for these trucks to get onto the other side of the island. Uh, actually pick up some garbage you can see them coming in here so the ring road is serving its purpose as it would turn out too we might as well so we have the budget uh, let's go ahead and actually upgrade the rest of this road uh, probably up to here and then again the same again uh, up to where that new garbage dump is and we now have a really sweet looking ring road that's going to Allow our services to get around the uh, city much faster. Okay. So back to this before I keep <laughs> getting distracted by other jobs. So we have a load of kind of beachside tourism stuff here. Now this stuff is really cool. We have a beach volleyball court also. Uh, I think we're going to add one of those in here. That's going to be really sweet looking as well. Maybe we can actually move this down onto the beach itself. So I think what I'm going to do here is create another little dirt road that's going to come off. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this off. Snapping is off. So a dirt road will look really nice on the beach rather than just having the tarmac. So let's have this come down uh, right by the water. Kind of along here. So it's just going to follow the shoreline. And then it can snake back up. And then I do want to switch back to tarmac as it rejoins the kind of the main road. So there's a nice little transition where the tarmac turns into dirt as it enters the beach. Okay, so we've got some nice little room now to place some of this new stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, have our beach volleyball court in here. Power's going to sink through. Don't like the way that it's tarmacked, but um, you know I guess people need to drive over there, don't they? So let's have a look with the first one. So we have fishing tours. I think this would be really cool to have here. Let's uh, let's plot this along here. Now you notice that it has this icon above it, as well as the water one, which can be uh, easily remedied. Uh, let's have another one following this road. And up to there. So it has this icon, which means that it has no road access. So what we're going to have to do is go ahead and grab our dirt road again. And I'm just going to make a little offshoot. 
that just comes in front of it and to the edge as close as I can get it and then that is going to give it road access which is great for everyone we can actually draw that in there no I think I'm going to keep it I don't want too many connections on this single road so now we have some fishing tools which is really cool let's go ahead and drop those in uh, what else do we have here uh, a jet ski rental uh, I think I'm going to have this uh, maybe over here because it wouldn't really make sense to have uh, jet ski rentals right next to a fishing tour place so again I'm just going to bring out another little road to uh, hook this guy up and then we'll give him uh, a temporary power fix until everything syncs up that should be his power very good okay what else do we have uh, we have a marina which is really cool I think I'm going to pop this uh, right by the fishing tours again that's going to create a nice little kind of focus beach front area for us so marina's got a few boats around it and again it's going to attract tourists and visitors we have a restaurant pier as well I think this would be nice Where do we want this? Can have it there. Yeah, that looks quite sweet. I actually want to go ahead and try something now. This is something I have not done before. I want to go ahead and uh, push the water in just a little bit there. Right, I'm going to go ahead and bring the bush strength down a little. Now I just want to try and make a little bit of an artificial kind of bay area. Okay, so the water has stabilised. City Skyline's water isn't the most stable thing in the world. You will have to play with it a little bit. And I want to see if I can grab this restaurant pier right onto the main road. So probably about there. Okay, because this thing is quite a tall building. So I want it to be kind of almost like a feature. Now the rock around here is a little bit gross looking. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick in. I want the brush size to be zero. Okay, I want the brush strength taller than that. I'm going to bring this palm tree line all the way So there's water out here actually, so when we build there, that's fine. Uh, and then all the way down here as well. Up to the ferry depot. And I think I'm just going to decorate this thing here with a couple of nice uh, rocks. So it looks as though it has been actually exposed on the seafront a little bit up to here and maybe another one here if we can squeeze it in we might be a little too big for the uh, the rocky outcrops around this area but it's fine we can make one ourselves so let's go ahead and have one right here and then here and then let's place in some uh, smaller rocks Kind of around these. Let's have some up here. And then by the side. And then I'm going to make a bit more fuss of the entrance to this and place in a couple of little bushes. And I wonder if I can actually grab. This probably uh, is a little too close, but that's fine. Let's actually add in a path down to here. That should be okay. 
So that looks a little better with the um, with the rocks around it, I think. And that's going to be really cool. Let's have a look what else we have to play with. So we also have a riding stable, uh, which I don't really want to put down here, to be honest. Uh, and then we have a skate park as well. I've never actually used a skate park before. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that's too bad. Okay, so now we have a lot of this kind of empty beach space, so I want to go ahead and draw in um, some paths that link people from the main road down to here. So let's have one there. And then we'll also have one over here as well. And then one that flows down the middle of the beach up here. over there, behind the volleyball court, and then down here as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab our palm trees again. Make a bit of a crossroads around here. That's a little too many. Go ahead and knock the brush strength down. Oops. I'm still doing it. There we go, that's what I was after. Just kind of place these randomly around. It can help if you do this from uh, a little bit higher up. That can um, just help you get the space in a little bit better. So we've got some nice palm tree beaches. And then I'm going to go ahead and scatter in a couple of bushes just around the base as well. I know it's where uh, the roots have settled in. And you can also do with a path coming from down here as well. Probably up to there we will do. Uh, let's have a couple of bushes over here. Let's kind of scatter gun in this approach. Okay, so it's a lot more lively. I think maybe uh, some rock features would go down quite nicely here. Let's use some of the bigger ones. That one may be a little bit too big. I think these are all a little bit too big actually. Maybe have some, uh, these kind of look like sea rocks. Maybe have some of these out just in the middle of the water. And kind of along the uh, the beachfront here. Let's create a bit of kind of a cliff face that uh, for viewers of Fremwood, we can make a little bit of um, a collapsed cliff face here. So you can imagine that this was once been eroded away by the waves and the wind, uh, and it has now slidden down to create something of. Like a little mini landslide that's coming from a rocky outcrop. So let's have a couple of uh, rocky outcrops that just come away from the beach as well. There we go. So it's slidden down and the rocks have buried themselves into the sand over time. And that looks quite, that's a bit of personality to that cliff face. Also, Bill and Ted, great comment as well, by the way. Um, for recommendations on turning these little hillsides into nature reserves, uh, which we are almost certainly going to do. Um, the nature reserve stuff is here. I want to dedicate a whole episode to that. And we have this little hillside here with some nice castle ruins at the top. Uh, and then also some over here as well. So to have some kind of cliffside camping um, as people enter the bay is going to be really sweet. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we do have over here, while we've been neglecting the rest of the city, we have a low education uh, warning here, so it's time to place another high school. Uh, so let's see if we can find a nice spot for this. Over here is going to make the most sense, I think. Um, let's see if we can find a spot. I think along the high street right here is going to make the most sense. Can we get the Institute of Creative Arts in? Uh, not without destroying a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just go for the regular high school. 
uh, this is going to fit in nicely alongside the park. And it's also going to give um, a little more kind of importance to this area as it begins to flush itself out. So let's Okay, so I wanted to do some rocks over here, didn't I? Let's go ahead and grab some of the smaller ones. Let's keep changing the shape up as we move around. Make a bit of a feature out of this. So you can kind of just focus on doing little micro areas at one time and it'll make it feel a lot more important so right now we've got a bit of a, a rock face here where some palms have grown out of uh, maybe some large bushes as well so you just remember that we are kind of building a natural beach and we still want it to look natural just by having little outcrops like this that are uh, dotted around the beach so you see for example here this looks pretty boring it's just kind of spammed out but it's a nice start to go off and then over here you've got a lot more kind of fleshed out detailed sections of what used to be a cliff face before uh, humans came along and actually turned this into something. Uh, which I think is really sweet. So I now want to go ahead and just edit the bus line to uh, include this part of town this guy has abandoned. No worries, let me just get rid of that. I hate abandoned buildings in the city. Goodbye. Uh, and that high school should have sorted out the education. Yeah, we have more than enough right now. Okay, we do have a little bit of crime over here as well, so let's address that. So obviously as you're expanding your services, or as you're expanding your city with uh, different districts and buildings, uh, your current services like police stations and fire stations are going to become more and more strained. Um, so you can see right now we have pretty much really bad uh, jail availability, and the crime rate is 10%, which is actually really high, believe it or not. So since we have a bit of a high street theme developing along here, I'm going to keep placing my main buildings. And there's two reasons for that. Uh, one is that it looks pretty cool when you have all these important buildings down the main road. But also, giving the emergency services access to all kind of the main connections is going to allow them to get around a lot easier and deal with the relevant problems. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind to give them good access. Similar to the way we do with our industry, you want to make sure that they have good road access and good road network as well. Okay, so this beach was looking really nice now. Uh, let's go ahead and actually place in our second ferry port. Actually, no, I wanted to do the bus line, didn't I? Come on, remember what you're doing. <laughs> right, so I've just gone ahead and deleted the old bus line that was serving just this little square around here that we covered in the first bus lines episode. Because right now I'm going to diversify two different bus lines. So I'm going to kind of redraw in this one here that we had. And this is going to come ahead and follow kind of the main commercial centres um, of the island. So we're going to have a uh, stop here. Oh, my mistake. One there. Yeah, it's about two, three blocks apart from one another. There's always a good measure to do in place in bus stops. Uh, I'm going to have one right here as it comes in. And then you can notice that we did place the uh, ferry and bus exchange. So this is a perfect place for our ferry to come in, drop people off. Uh, and then he's actually going to come back out through this main roundabout. And then let's have one here. We actually don't need these stops right here. So I'm going to delete them, drop him back up the ferry port again. And then he's going to mirror the stops on the other side of the road. Up to a point here. And then down here. Back in front of the high school. Back at the paths. And then drop himself off there again. So now we have a bus line that is going to serve our kind of heavy commercial districts. So I'm going to go ahead I'll look at our lines overview. I'm going to change that one back to a nice bright green. And then this is going to be um, Ivory Farms to Begusia Beach. It will remain Begusia Beach until someone names the beachfront in the comments. Um, you guys let me know what you want to call that and we can certainly change it. 
Then the second bus line I wanted to do was to serve this residential area here. So this guy is going to start uh, from here. So there's going to be another bus here. But rather than following the same route, uh, he's now going to come overhead and kind of grab as many people as possible. So I think then through here. And you can kind of see the area of effect that is pleasing people. And doing it from a bird's eye view can just help you map it out a little easier to kind of see where and where you are not covering with your bus. So over here, down here again, should be okay. And down to here, and then here. And then that's going to connect itself back up. And again, just keep remember, I'm going to put this bus to a, a nice kind of deep uh, purple colour. Uh, and this is going to be. Um, let's make give it a number uh, 42 Hillside Square. So again, just keeping on top of naming your bus lines is really useful uh, because I now know that this purple bus is for the number 42. That's kind of irrelevant. Uh, but we do have a kind of a hillside square route now, so people in the residences, and that would be the public transport infrastructure for this island. There'll be no trains or anything. Um, that, that'll that just be it. So let's go ahead and place in the other ferry depot as well. Uh, ferry stop, rather. So I want this to be probably here. And let's go ahead and actually place up uh, these ferry lines now. So I want to have a nice straight approach. Well, that can look a little unrealistic when the ferries have this crazy turn circle and they just kind of rotate on a t on a sixpence. So nice big uh, wide curves as they come into the bay. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this back a little bit. Uh, because I do want that to be a little straighter. Let's go ahead now. Bring this out again by 15. And then we're going to curve it around. Back out of the bay. Let's knock this down. Probably to about there. There. So nice big sweeping curves. That's a little too intense. I might change that. We'll see how it looks. So now we've drawn in ferry lines. That doesn't mean that we actually have a ferry stop. So I'm going to create a line from here over to here and back to there. And that's going to allow a ferry to service these two buildings back and two. And I'm just going to go ahead now and draw in. Yeah, let's make this a little one way system. So they have to come in. Now this way, what was that? That was 160. And up to there, and let's make sure that we keep the one-way system flowing. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to have kind of a main road. That flows just a little bit further up. So I don't avoid, oh, so we do avoid knocking out uh, these blocks, these rocks, sorry, that are in the middle, not blocks. You can tell I've been playing Minecraft in my free time. Uh, okay, let's just knock out a few of these trees. Uh, and then this place here will eventually become, uh, probably next episode now, we've got a nice little farming community uh, to develop over here. For right now, as we unpause the game, and we can also delete these here as well. Oh, of course, my bad, my mistake. We did not connect the ferry line up to the ferry depot, so we need to do that as well. Uh, let's bring this guy out. And then bring him up to here. And then just nice straight lines. And then we can get a bit of a curve on through here. 
and connect them up to there. So now that alarm's come out, and of course this guy's going to need water as well. Might as well actually water out this village. Uh, and then we are going to need to hook him up to the main lines under the sea. There we go. And then he'll also need power as well. But I think what I'm going to do for power temporarily in this farm is leave it to run off of wind power rather than connecting it to the main grid because I want this to kind of have a little farming village vibe where it almost fends for itself uh, but that's gonna see this guy get there'll be no people using this light at the moment because there's no reason for them to come over here uh, but they will be next episode Otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our new beachfront. Uh, there's still a little bit of detailing to do here, uh, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. Let me know in the comments, actually. Do you want me to put my detailing bits and pieces in as time lapses so you can guys see them? Or do you want me to do them off camera? Let me know below. If you enjoyed the video, a like is very much appreciated. Really helps me out. You guys have been smashing the likes and subscribes recently. To all the new people, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Drop a comment down below so we know who you are. Don't be strangers. Um, if you didn't like the video either, please feel free to leave a dislike. Any suggestions, comments or recommendations for this beach? It isn't finished yet, but it is a nice start. Um, do let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to have your guys' input on this as well. But that's it. Next episode we're going to be looking at that kind of small farming community across the river uh, and kind of giving them a little bit of independence away from this island. Uh, and then we'll also try and work on some of those nature reserve ideas that Bill and Ted had as well. Um, so people can be kind of exploring the hills around the cliffs. Uh, I think that would be really cool. But otherwise guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.